What made you decide to be a minister? Well, I didn't want to be a minister. Before I was in the ministry, I was an accountant, and I was very happy doing that as a job, and I thought I'd be doing that for many years. And then I felt that God was calling me and speaking to me and saying that he wanted me to be a minister. Um, and that's why I am. So, why do you like being our minister? I love being the minister at the Triangle. Um, we have to move every five years. And when I knew that I was moving, I wanted to move to a church that had a vision for the future and a church that... Um, was growing so I was really excited to see that the Triangle was a new church in Bolton where I came from and was a church that had a vision to build this wonderful new building but um, was a, a church that has this slogan um, a place for everyone and that was really important because it was a church that wasn't just interested in about what goes on in church but wanted to reach out to the community and to to build with the people who live around it and that was um, what was really special to me but I love being the Minister at the Triangle because everybody is so warm and so inviting and so welcoming uh, and that's really important. So the Triangle has just had its very first birthday. Yes. Have there been any highlights of the past 12 months? Oh lots. Um, I've enjoyed doing the Alpha course and we're doing the Disciple <laughs> course now. Um, it was really special to do all those uh, bring all those people into membership and we've had 26 new members this year and one highlight was the anniversary service when lots of people brought friends um, and invited people to come to church which was really must have been really hard for people who normally don't say to somebody would you like to come to church but lots of people did and, um, and we had a really good service and that for me was a real highlight just remembering back to that, I can remember who my grandma brought. She brought someone called Uncle Brian. Did he like it? Yeah. Good. He really liked it. Good. Have there been any challenges? Lots of challenges, um, because some Sundays the church isn't big enough, which is a really good challenge to have. I know. And you think, oh, where's everybody going to sit? Um, so that's been a challenge, and it's a challenge is how new people who come to church, how they fit in the church, and um, how people have been coming to church for many years, um, allow new people to come in and to take take on roles but how new people are coming how they fit within the church um, and because we've concentrated on a building how as a church um, we raise the spiritual temperature so that we're not just about a building and what we do but we're about um, as a church family getting closer to God and that's um, a challenge but a really exciting challenge is there anything that still needs to be done to the church, to the community? Lots of things. There are um, things that I'm particularly thinking about at the moment because we're looking to get a youth worker, which is really important so that your age group upwards to middle teens as somebody who works with Ben to look after to you, and that's really important. Um, I think we're going to have to think about how we do Sunday morning services because if the church is full, um, we don't want people to stop coming. So we're going to have to think about uh, more services, which is um, uh, something that we need to think about. But actually, we're at the very beginning um, and it's listening to God and asking God, what does he want us to do? And we've got lots of African families, so how we can work with them in Johnson Fold is really important to go forward. Okay, so just asking, this is a random off-the-block question. What's the funniest thing that's ever happened to you as a minister? Well, um, I do lots of talks, and one of the talks is whatever, it shouldn't happen to a minister. So I talk about all the things that have gone wrong. Um, and two things that have happened, which aren't, in, the, in a sense, funny, uh, or they weren't at the time, was I, I did a, a funeral and I did a burial, and we'd gone to and it had been raining, um, and the sides of the grave were very slippy and I almost slipped into the grave when I was doing the burial, which would have been really disastrous. And then I did um, another funeral. Not, it's not always funerals, but I did another funeral where they started to fight. 
and the funeral director mm. said to me, Hilary, you'll have to stop them fighting. So I had to sort of break up this family who were, were starting to argue. It looked like they were going to fight. So those are the two, but I've had lots of different things. Wearing different shoes, wrong shoes, and, uh, and going to the wrong church, but those are the two that really stick out for me.